Well, I think the, the crisis in the private rented market is, is well documented, and I think we're all aware that uh, there's huge pressure on it. And just in terms of, uh, I've just set up my office in North Shropshire. A couple of people moved to North Shropshire to come and work for me, found themselves in exactly your position, except they couldn't even find somewhere to rent. And somewhere like North Shropshire, where you would expect the pressures to be low, um, they're extremely high. People are struggling to find homes. Most importantly, we need to have a fresh approach to social housing because we know there are one and a half million people on social housing waiting lists. And that's adding pressure into the private rented market, pushing rents up for people like yourself who can't save for a deposit because of it. Um, but it's also meaning that we've got families living in inappropriate accommodation, bed and breakfast, people being moved around, you know, kids getting settled in a rented house and then being uprooted because their landlords evicted them and, and sent somewhere else. It's, it's an appalling situation. The government have promised rental reform. They haven't delivered it. We need to see that. We need to see it now. But I think most importantly, we need to see a proper investment in social housing. OK, let's let's take them from all the woman in the, no, the further back. The pounds a month rent for the same room and I think it, there needs to be some type of yeah. regulation And let's talk there. of rent controls aren't there here as yeah. well, the council's thinking of that and that would make the problem a lot worse everywhere it's been tried, rent controls makes it worse. But well, that's why the renters reform bill is so important because at the moment section 21 evictions mean that landlords can kick you out yeah. just so that they can put the rent up by an enormous amount and there's no long term secure tenancy. So this renters reform bill is, is really important so that we can ban those, those evictions those no fault evictions and, and bring in longer term sort of three year tenancies so that that doesn't happen and and the government have said they'll do it and frankly I don't know what they're waiting for. Okay. Well the, Melissa wants to buy her own home though. That's that's what she